Hello everybody, my name is Shadowru and welcome back to another video. Well today we'll be talking about leaderboards. So what exactly are leaderboards? Well leaderboards are a time in which people compete by collecting candies or tokens depending on what the leaderboard is, whether it be on Christmas or Halloween. These events usually last around three weeks and at the end of the three weeks the top 100 people are chosen to get rewards and out of those top 100, three of them are given gold, silver, or bronze whether they got first, second, or third place. These rewards are usually recolored of the godlies or ancients that come out during the event, and they are non-tradable, meaning they are very exclusive to the person that got them. Well, you're probably wondering, hey Shadow, how can I get on the leaderboard? And that's what I will tell you. Well, first things foremost is you need the time of the day. A lot of people don't realize how competitive the Murder Mystery 2 leaderboard really is. I would say you need at least 16 hours a day to grind. I know the lower half of the leaderboard, you need at least 16 hours to get a top 100 spot. So I actually went back and did the math here according to last year's Christmas event. So this was the bottom of the leaderboard at the end of the event. And as you can see, they ended with 289,380 tokens. So if you get 289,380 tokens and divide it by 21, since there was 21 days in the event, you'd get 13,780 tokens per day. And if you divide that number by 16, say they grinded 16 hours a day, you would get 861.25 tokens a day, every day for three weeks. So if you don't have that time of the day, I'm sorry, you cannot get on the leaderboard. And that's just the truth. Well, you're probably wondering, how do so many people get on the leaderboard despite it being a very long and grueling process? Well, many people use friends or people that they trust in order to grind for them while they are, say, at school or at work or doing something and they can't be on. Friends will go on their account and play for them while they are away. And when they come back, they swap off. And that's, that's how most people get onto the leaderboard. Well, not everyone needs a partner to grind. Say, if you can stay up 16 hours a day and be able to grind MM2 without your life being affected, or say it does get affected, who cares, it's MM2, you'll be able to get on the leaderboard by yourself. So once you have this way to grind and you have multiple hours a day to do so, how can you efficiently get on the leaderboard? How can you be as fast as everyone else is? Well, to do so, you're going to need Roblox Plus. But what is Roblox Plus? Well, Roblox Plus is a Chrome extension that allows people to find small servers. And by doing this, you can get in a small server with you and your alt. And doing this, you can grind efficiently. So once you get into a small server with you and your alt, you just need to grind. You just need to go around and collect candies. And once you get max, you are going to want to reset your avatar or your alt's avatar in order for the round to end. And you do this over and over again until the event ends, basically. That's all it is. That's all grinding is. Getting candies, resetting, and then starting over again. Many people like grinding with their friends during the event, and that's totally okay. But the less people that you have in your server, the less people taking tokens or candies that you could have, that's more spots that you could rise. That's faster grinding, basically, if you have less people. So if, you, if you're aiming for higher spots, you're going to want to just grind by yourself and with your alt. That's all you need to get a top spot. So all in all, to get top 100, you're going to need at least 16 hours a day, you're going to need an alt, and you're going to need a Roblox Plus to find small servers. So that was my explanation, basically, on how to get top 100. But you're probably wondering, how do you get top 3? 
Well, I'm letting you guys know now that getting top 3 is much, much more harder and much more competitive than getting just top 100. These days, getting top 3 means having 24 hours a day, whether it be by yourself, which is basically impossible, or having a friend or someone to help you get to that 24 hour mark daily. So to get top 3, you're going to need cover or a friend that can help you get onto the leaderboard. You're also going to need more alts, and more alts being 11 of them. So if you can get in a server with yourself and 11 other alts, that is on track to getting top 3. So if you have 24 hours a day and you have 11 other alts, you might have a chance of getting top 3. But then again, there are many other people that compete for these top 3 spots, so it is not guaranteed if you have these things. So some tips I have for people that plan to grind is go for small maps that you know will help you get max tokens or candy faster. These maps being, say, house or mansion, just very enclosed maps where a lot of candy spawn in the same spot. And another tip I have is to keep distracted while you're grinding. So of course you want to go fast and you want to pay attention to how much candies you have so that you can reset faster and start a new round faster in order to get more candies in the hour. But you're going to want to stay motivated, you want to stay active, and this means this can mean doing homework or watching YouTube or listening to music while grinding in order to, you know, keep your mind on something so you don't get bored and give up on the leaderboard. And just something to look out for while grinding is beware of raiders. Raiders are people that target people that are on the leaderboard in order to slow them down and knock them down spots. Usually raiders are other people that are competing on the leaderboard, people that are below you or above you and are scared of being passed by you. You just want to be aware of those because people like that can really slow you down. And that basically summarizes what leaderboards are, how to get top 100 or top 3, and what you can expect while grinding. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please comment if you plan on grinding the leaderboard, because honestly, I love grinding, I love seeing people grind, I grinded Christmas 2020 with my girlfriend here, and it was an amazing experience, honestly. So yes, please like and subscribe for future MM2 content. See you!